10 when I moved to Arizona and um, I started my first band in Arizona when I was 13, eight years old, I started playing the guitar. And uh, I, really, I really realized that uh, is my true passion probably when I was about 11 years old when I played my first show. And uh, that's when I knew that I, I wanted to uh, pursue music and uh, really make a run at it. I would say I naturally had a, an ear for music, for pitch and, and melody and, and things like that. But I would say overall, anything that uh, you want to become really good at definitely takes work. And I, I think I've worked really hard at it and especially you know, guitar playing wise and, and singing, I've, I've definitely put in my fair share of hours, I would say. I was just recently in uh, Los Angeles visiting with some record labels and, and same with New York in the summer and then also uh, uh, back in November uh, with uh, labels in Nashville. So it's been, uh, it's been a crazy ride and, and the cool thing is, is I have a lot of flexibility with that right now and it's about finding the right fit and you know, whether we, I sign with a record label or I don't, um, still gonna go forward and, and we're just I'm just gonna do what's best because I got I'm very lucky to have a great manager and a great attorney and, and a marketing team that are know what is best and uh, you know I'm gonna trust them and the music industry and music in general is a very emotional thing so there's gonna be ups and downs with it. Uh, I would say like every you know especially at this point in, in my musical career which is like I've been working at it for so long and just trying to really make make it to the next level, which is, you know, label, touring, that type of thing, is, is when a lot of bands and artists decide to stop it and, you know, get a real job or anything, or just focus on school. So I'd say that it's always in the back of your mind because you never know what's around the corner. It could be you get signed to the best record label ever and they put a million dollars behind you and then the next day the guy who signed you gets fired and then they just sell, shelve you. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of luck when it comes to becoming that type of a star um, and, and musician. So I think if, if that didn't work out, I think I'd do something in the music industry because music has always been my passion and, and is always gonna be a part of me. My true passion is like in my music because when I'm on stage, there's honestly no place I'd rather be. A long-term dream goal would be to sell out Wembley Stadium. and. I don't want to stop anywhere short from that.